Hello, amazing people in reproductive health. No intro today. Things just got a little too busy at the Resolve Gala the other night, which, by the way, was awesome. I want to give a huge, huge congratulations to everybody at Resolve, the amazing team that put a lot of work into that, that I thought was just kind of the perfect event for, for what it's meant to be, and really impressed with the physicians and the industry folks that came out and showed their support. So I want to thank all of those people also because getting behind that Resolve team and getting behind the cause, I think support is a viable marketing strategy. And so I just thought that the gala the other night was a, was a good commitment to it, getting the people that uh, matter in that space together and, uh, and driving some focus. And I think we're going to accomplish some really amazing things by helping those people. So that was also what had gotten into this, us in this whole topic of online reviews in the first place, right? And so last time we talked about negative reviews. This time you can smile, you can feel great about yourself because we're going to talk about the positive reviews. Same thing, I used RateMDs as my source, only used adjectives um, just because I want to see how people are using certain words differently. And I, I used almost 600 of 144 different REs. So I'm going to give you a second to guess what the most commonly used adjective to describe REs positively is. If you remember last time, the most common negative one was rude. But this time it's not polite. That In fact, that barely showed up. Friendly and things did show up pretty highly, but it has nothing to do with that. You want to take a guess? The word knowledgeable was used more than 50 times more than the next most commonly used adjective, which is interesting to me for two reasons. Because all of the other words are used to describe the bedside manner, demeanor, communication. And two, by law, there's no such thing as an RE who isn't knowledgeable. Every single RE is knowledgeable, but it's only when in a positive context that this adjective is used and that was clear across all the geographic areas by the way i recorded geographic areas this time because someone asked for it after the the raw data i kept track of it this time if you if you'd like that and then other assignments that i've gotten from you from discussions that we've had is staff is definitely included in physician reviews. So even though these reviews were about the physician, not about the practice as a whole, staff is included almost every single time. Most of the time they're in sync with each other, but sometimes a staff member definitely brings down a physician. And in some cases, a staff member can also raise a physician's rating too. Others have asked me to take a look at SART data and compare that to positive and negative reviews and see if they play out the same way. And I think that's very interesting because success reigns key. And I want to be clear about this because I've talked about this with a lot of you. And I'm not saying that success rates are indicators of positive or negative. I don't know that yet. But I can definitely tell that the disproportionately high mentions of a baby or a pregnancy in positive reviews or disproportionately high mentions of leaving the clinic before treatment is successful in negative reviews clearly show that that is what is leading people to leave the review in the first place. So part of this entire project is reverse engineering why there are still some people that buck that trend. No one has a 100% success rate, but there are people that have very few negative reviews, and that's part of what this entire project is about. So the next phase is going to be about going through some of these reviews. I'll probably switch to Yelp this time and look at the practice as a whole and take note of positive reviews that mention having a baby or a pregnancy, negative ones that mention leaving the clinic early. And so we can take a look and see exactly how much more likely a person is to leave a, a positive review or a negative review based on that. So I will have that to you sometime between Thanksgiving and Christmas. So I won't talk to you sooner. Have a very happy Thanksgiving. It's the best holiday of the year and I hope you enjoy it.